Hey Porterfield, how you doing? Uh, this is Pastor Eric, uh, just uh, bringing the devotion tonight, and uh, wanted to kind of share something with you guys tonight. Um, and I think I'll read the scripture starting out, and then maybe read it again at the end of this. Um, the scripture I want to share is Isaiah 61, 1. It says, The Spirit of the Sovereign Lord is on me, because the Lord has anointed me. He has sent me to set up the to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim freedom for the captives, and to release from darkness for the prisoners, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor. And as I think about that verse, I think about Jesus used that to start his ministry. And uh, how awesome that is to think about that, that Jesus proclaimed that he was here to bind up the brokenhearted. Uh, to set the captives free, to proclaim the good news for everybody to hear. And uh, it makes me think about this, and um, this is something my grandfather made. And it's really special to me. One, because he made it by hand. He, I remember so many times he'd be on the porch and he would whittle, and you can see this little, there's a little ball in there. Um, he would just whittle that away and to where he there was just one solid piece of wood and he would take the time to actually make this something unique and every day i mean i wouldn't go over there every day but at least once a week i'd be over at my grandma and grandpa's house we usually have dinner together as a family on sunday afternoons and i remember him working on this at different times on the back porch and he made several of these throughout the years. And it's really special to me because I saw how much effort and work he put into it. But I also, uh, I actually took one of these and started playing with it because I thought it was really cool. And I was probably about 10 years old. And I remember actually um, playing with it and kind of swinging it around. And actually, if you look at this real close, and I'll try to get close for you tonight, but I actually dropped this and it's got a big crack in it. And you might be able to tell it's got super glue or some type of wood glue uh, to glue it so it stays together. So the reason why it's so important to me and special to me and after my grandfather had died and actually just before my, probably a year before my grandma passed away, I asked her this and this is the only thing I received really from my grandparent or actually asked for and so why it's so special to me is because I broke it and I think about the fact that we're broken and we need God to restore us we need God to you know restore us to the place where we were before we we committed sin and we failed God and and we walked away from him and I think about how much time God has put into us that he created us you know we know in, in genesis that he didn't just you know uh, speak us into existence we're, we're the creation that he took his hands and molded and shaped us out of the clay and then he took his breath and he breathed life into us well we are so wonderfully designed and, and god took so much time to create you and to, to make you and it's such a shame that we live in a fallen world and i know I know there's things that I've done to put myself in captivity. There's been things that I've done to break my spirit. Um, and I know I'm not right by myself. So I needed someone to come in and rescue me. And it's just great to know that Jesus has come to rescue us. He's come to rescue you. He loves you and he cares for you. And he really wants you to uh, know that that he loves you so much and I just want to read that again just it's Isaiah 61 and think about this Jesus before he began his ministry he read this very scripture the spirit of the Lord of the sovereign Lord is upon me because the Lord has anointed me to proclaim the good news to the poor he has sent me uh, to bind up the brokenhearted to proclaim freedom for the captives and release from darkness for the prisoners and so I know I was there. I was in darkness. I was 
I was broken. I was captive by my sin. And Jesus has come to rescue us all. And so as you live your life and as you as you think about navigating through the world and, and, the, and today, I want to just speak to you today and just just kind of tell you that Jesus came to save. He came to rescue. He came to uh, be with you and to restore you back to from where your broken state was. He came to, to do that for you. He came to rescue you. So I just want to encourage you today. I just want to uh, help you to kind of think about what, what Jesus did. And, and really, I guess I go back and I want, to, want you to think about what God has done for you. That, that God created you. The make, made you special. Made you uh, to do something great for him. And don't let the world, don't let Satan tear you down to where you are not allowing God to really use you. So thank you for this time. Thank you for this day. And oh, let's just have a word of prayer. Dear Holy Father, I thank you so much that you created us, that you touched us, that you, you made us in a unique way, that you took your time to form us out of the clay and that you breathed your breath into us. And so you gave us life, Lord. And so I thank you that even when we were in our mother's wombs that you knit us together. And Lord, as, as we've lived our lives, we know that we're broken. We know that there's been things inside of us that are not right. We know that we're held captive to our sin, that there's things that we have desires for that are, that are not in line with you, Lord. And we also know, Lord, that we're a prisoner and we're in darkness and we need light. So I pray, Lord, that you just help us, Lord, to to realize that you can mend us and you even do a better job than this piece of wood that I have that my grandfather made that you were able to fix us and mend us like we're brand new and so I thank you for that father I thank you that that you love us so much and you care for us deeply that you want us to have this relationship with you that you don't want to leave us in darkness that you don't want us to be staying in a state of just being captive and you want us to be free. Thank you so much for loving us and caring for us. In your wonderful name I pray, Jesus. Amen. Well, thank you so much for your time today and I just want to encourage you. And, uh, you know, I guess the reason why this is spe so special to me too is because my father or my grandfather made this for me. And because he made it, it's dear to me. Isn't, isn't our lives, shouldn't our lives be so dear to us that, that our Heavenly Father created you that you should hold on to that, knowing that your life has purpose, that your life has meaning. Thank you so much for joining us today, and I hope you have a great evening, and, and take care. God bless.